हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल इन द फोर्थ एंड द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ फूड सेफ्टी एंड हेजार सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट बायोलॉजिकल हेजार्स दैट मे कंटेमिनेट यूर फूड एंड फूड प्रोडक्ट्स दिस इज अ थर्ड एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट कैटेगरी अमंग ऑल द हेजार्स ऑफ फूड सेफ्टी मोस्ट ऑफ द फूड बॉर्न इलनेसेज आर कनेक्टेड विथ बायोलॉजिकल हेजार्स ओनली बायोलॉजिकल हेजार्स आर when the pathogenic or disease causing microorganisms or the substances produced by organisms can be act as a threat for consumers it's a major concern area in food processing in spite of a- taking all the efforts in the area of food safety food borne pathogens are still a serious concern and a new pathogens are continuously emerging day by day biological hazards broadly classified into three categories microorganisms macroorganisms and prions microorganisms include bacteria viruses yeast and molds and parasites viruses like norovirus hepatitis a virus can cause long lasting liver diseases and spreads typically through raw or uncooked seafoods yeast and molds cause spoilage in food and food products but do not cause any food borne illnesses parasites it is an organism that lives on or or in a host organism bacteria is responsible for most of the food borne food borne illnesses and are the biggest threat for food safety some common food borne pathogens like salmonella campylobacter escherichia coli affects millions of peoples annually now second category of biological hazard is macroorganisms like insects flies cockroaches ants rats and rodents these organisms are basically works as a carrier for the transportation of pathogenic microorganisms apart from these two types of biological hazards another category is also exists known as prions or protein molecules they are a small protein molecules found in brain cell membranes and creates spongy form pathological changes in the brain and they resulting to brain damage so what are the probable sources of biological hazards in our food and food products it may be raw materials or incoming materials because the raw materials and incoming materials may contaminated with microbial growth and its toxins during the harvesting storage and transportation of the material poor manufacturing facilities if the manufacturing facility or processing area or a food kitchen is not pro- properly maintained then the manufacturing facility itself a source of various food safety hazards like growth of microbes and insects poor cleaning and sanitization due to poor improper cleaning and sanitization of processing equipments and utensils like cutting boards may increase the cross contamination of food products pathogenic microorganism are widely found in human body like in skin hands hairs nose mouth throats etc so inadequate personal hygiene is not maintained in a processing area then this these microorganism can be carried out to our foods through food handlers their dirty clothes and the material handling activities failure in infection control keep your eyes on the health of food handlers be aware on ongoing disease in your areas and your workers of food handlers are suffering from logistic or transportation of bulk food and food products is a very complex procedure and it, and also there is a long gap between processing and consumption so it can be a major reason for the contamination of food products from the pathogenic microorganisms water and air contamination if the water used for processing of the product is contaminated or the air quality of the processing area is not good then it can also play a major role to contaminate food and food products what are the preventions and control plan that can a food business operators can implement in their facility to control the biological hazards from farm to factory to fork 
means throughout the food supply chain safe food handling practices and procedures are need to be implemented at every stage to prevent the risk and associated harm to consumers implement hscp system hscp is hazard analysis analysis critical control point during implementation of this system you need to evaluate your entire food supply chain and food processing flow to identify the probable health hazards and their associated risk and on the basis of that food business operators need to set the control system for monitoring to hazards and performing of control systems and evaluate the performance of control systems implement and follow gmp procedures good manufacturing practices are the basic operation and environmental conditions required to produce safe foods they ensure that ingredients products and packaging materials are handled safely and that food products are processed in a suitable environment gmp addresses the hazards that are associated with person and environments during food production they provide a foundation for food safety systems implement pest control plan if we have done all the cleaning and sanitization activity as per system or process requirements but pests like ants cockroaches flies or mosquitoes are still crawling in our food processing areas then it can contaminate our food materials next is train train and train your employees next is introduce strict process control plans like effective thermal processing cooking and pasteurization or processing control parameters like temperature and timing for the prevention of biological hazards food business operator can also incorporate various preservation techniques just have a quick recap of this entire series in the part 1 i have shared basic information about food safety and their types then in the second third and fourth part i have shared the detailed information of individual hazards like physical hazards chemical hazards and biological hazards in all these four videos i have also shared the prevention and control plans for individual hazards so this was all about the food safety and food safety hazards i hope you have learned something that you might not known before thank you so much for staying with me in this session if you have any queries and suggestions for the improvement of contents please do share with us i will be back very soon with the new video of food safety till then take care and stay safe